Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm a little nervous but I am really really excited to finally be able to share something with you all. As you can tell from the title this is the introduction of my favorite set with Sigma. I am so incredibly excited for this. You have no idea when Sigma reached out to me to ask me whether or not I'd be interested in collaborating with them in order to offer you all a discounted favorites set. I was like, yeah, um, yeah, absolutely yes. Sigma has been a brand that I have absolutely loved since I first purchased their products back in 2011, 2012, I think. So it's been a few years. I remember the first video that I ever saw with anyone using any kind of Sigma brushes was with uh, Makeup by Camila, which is her, she's Camila Coelho. She's a Brazilian beauty vlogger, super gorgeous girl. And I was like, I want those brushes. Whatever she's using, that's what I need because she's making this look so easy and so effortless. So I went onto the Sigma website and I've been hooked ever since. Their products are just top-notch quality, especially for what you're paying for. I have some brushes that I've had since I first purchased them and I still use them and they are great quality even still. I mean, I use a lot of Sigma products. I use their brushes. I use their brush cleansers or their brush shampoos. I use their makeup and the brushes are just the thing that I absolutely, if I had to pick one, the brushes. They know what they're doing with the brushes and they just recently came out with the, or not recently, it's been a while, but they redid their 3D blender, which I am absolutely in love with. This is a a new favorite of mine, which is why I decided that it just had to be in the set. So let's get into exactly what is in this set. So this is what the set looks like right here. It comes in a little organza bag. Because I did include the 3D blender in my set, it just didn't really make sense to put it in a box because you're also going to be receiving three other smaller, slimmer items along with it. And so when they suggested the organza bag, I was like, yeah, that makes total sense. And then that way when you receive it, you can reuse the organza bag for something else. You don't necessarily just have to throw it away like you would with a box. So I loved this idea. What you get within the set is the 3D blender, which is this guy right here. I love this 3D blender so much, especially since they redesigned it. It's a lot softer. You use it wet or damp rather. So you're gonna run it underwater until it gets really nice and big and fluffy. You're gonna of course want to squeeze it and wring it out really, really well in order for it to just be damp and not wet. And it is going to be good for so many things around the face. I absolutely love using using this blender, especially for foundation and for concealer. It has a really, really like sharp pointy tip, which allows me to get really in that inner corner underneath the eye, like right here. That is a problematic area for me whenever I am blending out my concealer. That seems to be the spot that frustrates me the most because I can't really seem to get in there without disturbing anything else around. With this one, it allows me to really blend the inner corner without messing anything else up. I can also use this in order to set the under eye area with some powder. I can use this for highlight as I did today. It has just so many different uses. It also has two really flat edges that are great in order to clean up any contour or if you're into baking, you can absolutely bake with this right here along the jawline. You can bake with this underneath the eye. You can place powder, you can place foundation, you can place creams. This one has just so many different uses for it that that I just had to have it in the set. It's it's amazing. The next thing that you'll be receiving in the set is the E40 Tapered Blending Brush. Now, if you've seen any of my makeup tutorials, you know that this is a holy grail brush of mine. I use this for crease, for transition, for blending, for just overall combining eyeshadows together, as you'll see in this video. It's just such a good brush, such a good brush. I can never, ever, complete a look without this brush. I've had, like, one of the brushes that I've had for the past six years or so is this one right here. Well, not this one right here, but one that I have in my collection is, it just happens to be the E40. Like, you can't even see the name on it anymore. I've used it so many times, and I still continue to reach for it because it's just one of my all-time favorite blending brushes. 
Another one that you'll be receiving is this one here. This one is the E25 blending, which is a lot different than the tapered blending brush that I just showed you all. This one I like to use for more precise blending and more precise eyeshadow application. The E40 I love for overall blending. This one is really good for precise blending. So whenever I place any eyeshadows along the outer V or along the crease, and I really want to be precise in my application, but I also don't want it to look like a line or just like have a sharp edge, this one is the one that saves me every single time because it allows me to not only be precise with my eyeshadow application, but it also allows me to blend around it without diffusing most of the product that I place on the eye. I can also use this along the lower lash line in order to blend that out as well if I need it because it is not as round as the tapered blending brush. This one is a little bit thinner um, or it kind of just sits a little bit more like this rather than have it be like a round dome head. You can really get a underneath that lash line in order to blend it out, in order to diffuse any kind of eyeshadows underneath the eye area like I did today. Like it's just, I love this brush. And last but not least, the E30 pencil brush. This one I absolutely love for so many different reasons. I can go in with this pencil brush in order to apply eyeshadow along the lower lash line, and it also helps me out with blending there. I can use this in order to pop any kind of color or any kind of shimmer along the inner corner of the eye. I can use this in order to really sharpen up the crease if I needed to or if I wanted to for a specific look, or if I just want to really sharpen up the outer V. It just has so so many different uses. I love this brush as well. So the set retails for $63. However, Sigma has offered my subscribers a discount. So if you click on the link that's in the description box, it's going to take you directly to the set and you can get it for $50, which is a 20% discount. Also, every brush comes with a free two-year warranty. Not only that, but if you're interested in anything else within the website, you also get 10% off using my All Beauty by Sarah discount code. So 10% off of everything else, 20% off of the set. I'd say that's a really, really good deal, especially for the quality, the durability that you're getting with these brushes and pretty much all of their products. If you plan on purchasing the set, you're gonna get free shipping because they do free shipping for anything 50 and over domestically. And if you're looking for free shipping internationally, they do require a minimum of 100 $50, but everything ships internationally. So now I'm going to show you exactly how to recreate this look right here. I wore this look during my last product review and a lot of you wanted to see a makeup tutorial on it. So I figured what better time to use my set than during this makeup tutorial. So let's get right into it and yeah. All right, so we're gonna start with the eyes per usual for me. I always start with the eyes. Just taking a little bit of my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, applying it on to the lid. This is gonna act as a base in order to allow all of the eyeshadows to show up nice and bright. I'm just gonna be spreading that out using my finger just by blending it out all across the entire lid in order to cover up the natural pigment that's on my lens. And then I'm going to blend it out even further using my damp 3D blender. Okay, so now that the base is done, we're going to start applying some eyeshadows. First one I'm going to start off with is this one here. This one is called Sickening. And I'm going to grab that with my E40 Tapered Blending. And I'm going to be taking that eyeshadow and applying it on to the crease right here. Just running this eyeshadow back and forth using windshield wipey motions and circular motions. Just combining those together in order for the eyeshadow to blend out nice and evenly. And this is going to serve as my transition shade. So just going back and forth with this eyeshadow. Grabbing a little bit more again. Just building the color intensity up just a little bit. Okay, so now that I have that down, I'm going to grab Pageant Queen, which is this really beautiful purple. And I'm going to be taking that with the exact same brush, so my E40. And I'm going to be placing that right underneath the previous eyeshadow. I'm just going to place this down right underneath by patting it right underneath the crease. And then I'm going to be blending it into the crease with whatever's left over 
on the brush. And just again, circular and windshield wiping motions. Okay, so now that we have that first layer placed down, I'm going to move on to my E25 blending. And so with this one, I'm going to be able to be a lot more precise in my application, but still blend out the eyeshadow. So that is why I'm grabbing this one. Instead, I'm going back to Pageant Queen, and I'm going to be placing that right on top here. So right underneath the crease patting that in just like I did um, with the previous step. I'm going to pat it in first onto where I would like most of the eyeshadow to be placed and then you can blend out around it. And the closer that I am to the brow, the less pressure that I place onto the brush. So when I'm here, I'm applying most of the pressure. And then as I go up toward the brow, in order to try to blend everything together, I just relieve some of the pressure on the brush so that the brush is barely touching my skin. And then I'm going to go back with my E40 without adding any additional product onto it in order to further blend everything out. So this is okay. So now I'm grabbing my E25 once again, but I'm moving on to a different shade. Now I'm grabbing Trade, and I'm simply going to be patting that onto the outer V here. And this is just meant to add a little bit of dimension. So just packing that color onto the outer V, and then once I've placed the color there, I'm just taking the other side of my brush and just blending the edges out just a little bit. And I'm bringing this from the V, I'm patting it all the way up to where I feel my crease. I'm turning it over once again in order to blend it out. Okay, and then I'm going back with my E40 and then just blending right here in between, right along the crease. Just any areas that I feel aren't blended out enough, that's what I use this one for without adding any additional product. Next, we are going to be taking Beat, and I'm actually going to be grabbing this with my finger. This is a really, really soft eyeshadow, and it applies beautifully with the finger. I actually prefer applying shimmers onto the lids with my finger than I do with a brush or with a wet brush. I just find that I get the most beautiful color payoff that way. Um, so I personally prefer to apply shimmers or metallics or foiled eyeshadows with my finger instead of a brush. And so I'm just going to be placing beat on to this inner half of my mobile lid area. And I'm going to stop right along the crease right here. And of course, right before the outer V. I don't want to cover up any of that that I have going on along the outer V. Okay, so now I'm going back with my E25 again without adding any additional product and I'm just going to blend in between. Very, very lightly though. All right, and that is pretty much it for the lids. Now I'm simply going to take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Black Bean, and I'm going to use this in order to tight line. Next, I'm gonna be applying lashes, and the ones that I'm wearing for today are these right here. These are from Pure Cosmetics. They are in the Style Diva. They are some of my favorite lashes to wear just because they are super flattering, they're super lightweight, and they're just like really, really glam. But before I apply my false lashes, I'm just going to apply some mascara. Today I'm using my Sigma High Caliber Lash Mascara in the shade Black. Just applying a little bit of that onto the lashes before my false lashes go on. Okay, so now that we're almost done with the eyes, let's move on to the face for just a little bit. Okay, so for the face, the first thing that I'm going to start off with is the primer or a primer. This one here is from Cover FX. 
This is just going to help minimize all of my pores, blur out any of my imperfections. Next, I'm going to be color correcting the under eye area. And for that, I'm going to be using my Becca under eye brightening corrector in the shade medium to deep. Just applying some of that onto the under eyes. I already look more awake. Next is foundation. And for today, I'm going to be using my Flower Beauty Foundation. This one is the Light Illusion Foundation in the shade Classic Tan. And I'm going to be applying that with my finger onto my cheeks. Just kind of spreading it around for now. And then I'm going to be grabbing my 3D Blender in order to blend everything out into the skin. Next, moving on to concealer, I'm going to be grabbing my Tarte Shape Tape and just applying it in a triangle shape here underneath the eyes. And this is why I love this sponge because it gets really deep into the inner corner and I don't have to struggle with blending this section out underneath the eyes. All right, now taking the same sponge, I'm grabbing a little bit of my RCMA No Color Loose Powder with it and setting the under eye area. Okay, so now that the under eye area is all done, I can go ahead and finish off the eyes. So the first thing that I'm gonna grab is this pencil right here. This one is from NYX. It is their jumbo pencil in the shade Sparkle Nude. And I'm gonna take my 3D blender and simply tug down a little bit so that I can see the waterline, and I'm going to be applying this eye pencil onto the waterline. This is just gonna allow me to get onto the waterline without it affecting the under eye area. Okay, so now that I am done with the waterline, I'm going to go back into the palette using my E30 pencil brush. I'm going to first grab the shade Pageant Queen and run that along the lower lash line but I'm only going in about three quarters of the way. Next, I'm gonna take Trade, just a little bit of Trade, and apply that on top. Lastly, I'm gonna grab Sickening and blend everything together along the lower lash line. And you can also go in with the tip of the E25 and blend right underneath the eye. Next, I'm gonna grab a highlighter. This one is from Wet n Wild. It is their Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Crown of my Canopy. And I'm gonna grab a little bit of that using my pencil brush. And I'm gonna place that right along the inner corner here. Just really make that inner corner pop. And of course, finishing off the eyes with some mascara along the lower lashes. Okay, so now that the eyes are truly completely done, it is time to finish off the rest of my face. And for that, I'm going to start off with bronzer, and I'm going to grab my Benefit Hula Bronzer. This is like my absolute favorite, as you can tell by me hitting pan on this. I hit pan a while ago. <laughs> and I'm gonna take this along with my tapered highlighter brush. Now, just because it says it's a tapered highlighter brush does not mean that you can only use it to highlight. You can use it anywhere on the face. Brushes are very versatile, and so just because they're labeled as something does not mean that they're only for that specific purpose. So use them any way that you want. Brushes are brushes. I'm gonna be applying some bronzer bronzer slash contour with this just swirling the brush upward in order to blend it out next I'm going to be taking my duo fiber powder blush brush this one is the f15 oh yeah and the tapered highlighting brush that I used to contour with was the f35 so I'm taking the F15 and I'm simply going to be grabbing my Sigma blush. This one is the Corda Rosa blush. Applying that onto the cheeks. For highlight, I'm going back to my Wet n Wild highlighting powder and I'm going to be grabbing it using my damp 3D blender and just stamping it on to the high points of the cheeks. All right, and last but not least, the lips. And for that, I'm using my Rosette Lip Eclipse. 
And that completes today's look. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for the constant love and support. I cannot thank you enough. It means the world to me that you all like my videos, that you all watch my content, that you all actually feel like you learned something from me. I just, I feel so incredibly blessed to have each and every single one of you. Thank you all so much for believing and for subscribing and for allowing me to have this opportunity to partner up with one of my most favorite brush brands. So I cannot say thank you enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really hope that you enjoyed this look and that you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to my channel so that you don't miss out on future content. And also don't forget to follow me on all of my other social media platforms. I am All Beauty by Sarah with an H on Instagram and All Beauty by Sarah without the H on Snapchat and Twitter. As always, take care and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye.